I have the hottest tea today just for you guys. I'll be discussing why netizens think that A Pink's Naun is lying about being in a drama and why they think Soyeon dated Tungmo. I think it's a reach, but I'll let you be the judge of that. I'll also be discussing why Stray Kids' Felix is in hot waters. Former Eyes One members are making all kinds of big moves lately. Taewon and Sakura apparently signed with Source Music and are planning to debut with their new girl group, and now Taeyeon might have left her company. Though nothing is confirmed by Taeyeon nor the company yet, fans know noticed a small change in Taeyeon's Instagram profile. To be more specific, people noticed that Taeyeon had removed WM Entertainment from her Instagram bio, but she still follows the company on Instagram. This sparked rumors that Taeyeon had left WM Entertainment and joined HYBE instead, just like her former bandmates. However, some people think that Taeyeon has no interest in being an idol anymore and will start a career as a dancer in the industry. Or rather, they want her to give up being an idol because, according to them, she doesn't have the face for it. Basically, they called her ugly and I'm getting really sick of it. A comment said, There are lots of kids out there who dance well and who are prettier. You really think she stands a chance debuting? Another wrote, Honestly, she doesn't have the face to be an idol. When are people going to stop commenting on idols' looks? I wonder how these netizens would feel if their looks were judged daily. I bet they'd call it harassment and several anonymous accusations would appear online immediately. K-pop is really messed up. What I'm going to talk about now is really tragic. It seems that one young rapper could not endure the hardships of the Korean hip-hop industry industry and tried to end his life. On March 16th, Korean media reported that an unnamed 18-year-old who had previously participated in both Show Me the Money and its spin-off High School Rapper had attempted to end it all. Thankfully, his roommate ended up saving him. It turns out that the rapper lit charcoal briquettes in an attempt to pass away from monoxide poisoning while the roommate was sleeping next door. But they suddenly woke up and sprayed water so the fire wouldn't spread further. Parts of the apartment and their belongings were burnt in the process. Reports also shared that the two are healthy and have not suffered any injuries. Gangnam authorities share that they will decide whether to charge the rapper for arson after investigating the case in detail. K-hip-hop fans have started theorizing on who the rapper might be and thought that the victim could either be D-Ark or Lee sung Jae as they fit the description. D-Ark went through a few big controversies, was let go by his label P-Nation, and deleted his social media accounts. Both these theories were shut down though before they could spread any further. A user tweeted that D-Ark is allegedly fine as they had messaged his girlfriend who had assured them, and sung Jae came online and implied that he had no idea who the the rapper was. It hasn't been disclosed, and we may never find out who the rapper in question is. Taeyeon isn't the only idol who made changes to their Instagram though, as newest leader JR has changed his Instagram username as well, and many fans think that this is his goodbye to K-pop. This might be a hint for where his career is headed, but I'll get to that in a second. Along with the news of newest disbanding, it was also announced that the leader of the group, JR, along with Aaron and Ren, decided not to renew their contracts with Cletus Entertainment. Following that announcement, JR changed his Instagram username from Paki JR, which was his user for a long time, to Jonghyun. Fans are suspecting that this was done because he will not use the stage name JR for promotions anymore, but will start using his given name Kim Jonghyun when he ultimately transitions into acting. Since he probably wants to focus on acting, fans believe that he will no longer be trying to promote as a singer. Soyeon's lyrics and Idol's new album have made quite a fuss, but mostly people are just confused, and so am I. We all know that Soyeon is a talented producer and that she has composed some truly jaw-dropping songs Songs, but her newest lyrics, especially those in Tomboy, are not it. Like, girl, what does this even mean? I like dancing, I like my friends, sometimes we swear without cigarettes, I like to eh on drinking whiskey? What is she trying to say with these lyrics? But on top of the mass confusion, her lyrics have created a few controversies too, including an alleged beef with Hyuna and now dating rumors. It seems like Soyeon's lyrics for Liar have sparked some unexpected dating rumors with rapper Tungmo. Liar is a song about two lovers who have already parted ways, so now Edison started suspecting that the song might have been written based on Soyeon's experiences. In Liar, Soyeon raps, I followed you, but your mom said she didn't like that. Tell her that I didn't like it either. You tell me to mind my own business. Look at that attitude. And most importantly, before treating your next lover like a baby, get your spelling right first, kid. Aya. Many netizens claim that these particular lyrics were aimed at Tungmo. It should be noted that Aya is the title of a 2016 song by Tungmo. Netizens also think that Soyeon might be addressing the criticism Tungmo got for not knowing the spellings of become and okay in Korean in April of last year. A netizen posted, The lyrics are obviously targeting Tongmo. Rumors of a beef with Hyuna and dating allegations all coming from the same album? I know Cube's PR team is struggling in every way. The A Pink drama with Naun is far from over, guys, and she's now being accused of lying. When the A Pink comeback was announced, it was reported that Naun would be taking part in A Pink's promotions, despite the fact that she wasn't in the same company anymore. But then it was announced by YG Entertainment 
statement that Na Eun couldn't promote with her band members due to scheduling conflicts and she was also filming a drama at the same time. The story after that had a lot of twists and turns. First, it was revealed by Dispatch that YG had a hand in not letting Na Eun do promotions and that they didn't negotiate with the company that was producing the drama. Then it was speculated that this whole issue started when A-Pink's Todong was involved in a harassment scandal. Due to this scandal, A-Pink's comeback was initially scrapped off entirely, so Na Eun reportedly signed up for multiple acting projects. However, plans changed and it was impossible for Na Eun to reschedule her acting projects, thus leading to her skipping promotions altogether. But now netizens are suspicious about the validity of Na Eun's project. A netizen posted her Instagram feed on an online community writing, she said that she can't promote with A-Pink, but we still haven't heard anything about her next work. People were blaming Pak Torong for delaying the promotions and having it on top of her drama shootings, but she's not even shooting her drama and only shooting pictorials. Based on this post and its comments, netizens are putting all the blame on her and saying that she and YG made up the excuse about her having to shoot the drama because she didn't want to promote. It doesn't help her case that she hasn't spoken out on this yet or that there hasn't been any announcement about this alleged drama that she's shooting. But Na Eun has done nothing but support her members ever since A-Pink returned and the members seem to be on good terms. However, to be really fair, the whole situation still looks a bit fishy. Lately, I don't think I can make a video without mentioning Seo Jung at least once since he's been making quite big headlines in the K-pop community. On March 16th, they posted a video titled Unbelievable Request from Male Idols to Fans and it's regarding Stray Kids' Felix. More specifically, the video discusses Felix's messages on Bubble. Seo Jung is claiming that the messages are way too explicit and show the messages in the video. According to the screenshots, Felix wrote, You should try using silk blankets. It's very comfortable. Not hot, but really cool. If you want to try it, there's a good spot next to my bed. You can sleep with me. He also posted a picture in bed and wrote, Oh, it's so hot. I must have imagined being with you too much. I'm glad you can't read my mind. What do you think I was thinking? I'll do whatever you want. You now have the leather strap around my neck. Soljong also said that Felix posted voice messages of kissing sounds and even moaning. They added, Is this a conversation between an idol and a fan? Fans say that's not what he meant. Felix is a 23-year-old adult male. Can you really believe that he said these things without any intention of being rated R? Netizens weren't too pleased when they saw the messages either. A netizen said, How can he do this? No matter how thoughtless you are, just how easy do you think your fans are to just say stuff like this? Another supported the sentiment saying, First time seeing an idol solicit their fans like this. It's actually a mess that he still has fans who enjoy these remarks from him. But fans came to his defense right away and cleared up these accusations. The truth is that Felix was talking about leashes because he was talking about being a cat prior to the message. Fans also said that Felix never posted voice messages of him moaning and that he was actually snoring instead. The kissing sounds were never flirtatious either. The bubble messages about the silk sheets and the selfies in bed were just him showing off his sheets and pajamas and that none of the texts that Sojung mentioned were meant to be flirtatious. What are your thoughts on everything I talked about today? Share them in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye!